Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. There are several key concepts for the proper design, layout, and execution of many DSP-based audio systems. The first step is to make sure all the elements of your system are set up correctly and efficiently by performing a number of verification measurements. In this video, we will outline the process of making and interpreting key measurements to verify all basic system functions. Completing the verification process using these steps will give you a proper sounding system. This, in turn, will provide the basis to successfully apply Room EQ Wizard, or REW filters, or Dirac Live Room Correction to your audio system. To begin the verification process, first check each component's hardware or software switch settings to make sure they are all in the proper configuration or nominal position. Depending on your specific system components, examples may include Amplifier Mono versus Stereo Switch and Gain Settings Speaker Tone Gain Control Knobs Bywiring Connections Subwoofer Level, Phase, Inversion, and Tone Settings Preamplifier and Power Amplifier Level Trim Knobs And Setting the Mini DSP to USB Input and Default Settings before beginning a system tuning project, all of your system components need to be operating in proper working condition. To confirm cabling integrity, use REW or a noise generator and listen to each speaker and subwoofer individually to confirm the following connections. All cables are connected correctly and securely. Left and right main speakers sound the same and match the subwoofer levels. No drivers are damaged or misconnected. Left is left and right is right for all speakers. And no speaker cable connections are inverted. This process is performed using the output page on the Mini DSP plugin. With the plugin, you can selectively mute, unmute, and invert each of the connected speakers and subwoofers. This process will confirm the proper operation of your system elements. It's important to make sure that each of the individual drivers, tweeters, mid-ranges and woofers are functioning properly. This is accomplished by using REW to measure the frequency response of each of the speakers separately and combined to validate performance. In this step we want to make sure there are no burned out drivers, buzzes, or rattles. You also can listen for and correct any excessive room vibrations. Room vibrations can include rattling pictures, light fixtures, cabinet doors, etc. After confirming the integrity of all connections and speaker driver operation, the next step is to independently measure each of your channels, main speakers, and subwoofers. First, view them on the All SPL screen of REW. Next, we can verify that the subwoofers are non-inverted from the main speakers. If you have an inverted phase situation, the level will deviate from optimum in the crossover region. The goal is to end up with all of the speakers being constructive in power level. The next step is to set all the levels to be approximately equivalent using the All SPL screen in REW. What should be notable here is that all of the relative speaker levels are close and sloping downward, exhibiting a Harman tilt. By this point you should have made significant improvements, resulting in a nice sounding system. One of Mini DSP's most powerful tools is the ability to create a very precise and neutral sounding main speaker plus subwoofer system. This is an area where critical listening, combined with measurements, allows you to determine the best sounding setup. The goal is to have a neutral sounding system with no boominess, while expanding performance to the lowest audio octave.